Guys, and welcome back to EO4, playing the N Banar Total Conversion mod and playing with my friend here, Tim Marino. Hey, Hello. Tim. Hello. How's everybody so, doing? Uh, doing good, doing good. And you? Yeah, I'm fine. Just hold up up here in the mountains, surviving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. as dwarves do. <laughs> I hope my voice is better this time around. Oh, it's it's definitely better. That's good. All right. Uh, are you ready to, to start the game here? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's, let's get see. it rolling. Yep. And immediately I'm going to dissolve our alliance because I hate you. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I understand that. <laughs> Wolves and elves, they don't mix. Just for now, temporary. But you're allied with sick deer. Hmm. But I guess I could just yeah, declare war on you and then you can just... Um, Instantly like, just peace out. Yeah, except, but we have a truce time. I don't want to lose five stability here. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. I mean, hey, sure. from the start of the game, I've lost like five stability already. Yeah. Uh, and the reason we're doing this is because I have a mission here to make, well, the dwarves embrace the light and uh, then they gain bonuses to colonizing and such. So that's why we're doing doing this. Yeah. In I don't want to be. I don't want to worship the ancestors anymore. I want to worship the Jad. So. Oh, yeah. That's the correct way of uh, of thinking, that's for sure. Well, it'll have to be for now, because you're terrifying. The paper <laughs> tiger will be unpapered sooner than later. Yeah, we'll see. I still have the Saryan to deal with. They're a bit scary. Actually, yeah, yeah is that just the next target? Saryan? Yeah. I think so. I'm also reaching my governing capacity already. Hmm. If you want to, you can turn it up to uh, speed four. It's up to uh, you. Ooh, yeah, can, can you also change the speed, or is it only me? It's only you. Only the host. All right. You have all turn, the power. Turn it up a bit. Ooh. I can uh, get a assembly of holds. Which oh. does? It's basically parliaments, but for dwarven holds. Apparently holds oh, with a uh, seat in the parliament will be better administrative. Oh, okay, nice. So I get a bonus to their autonomy. Okay. You know, why not? I'm a hold, sure. I'm gonna hold. Nice. Alright, let's okay. get assembly, hold. Hmm, I mean, can't really put it. I need two seats and I have one hold. Uh... <laughs> I will do it in... I'll do it in this salt province, why not? Get a debate going, let's see. It's funny because most of the debates are just money, and I don't really need that. You can uh, send it to me, if you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your money at now? Nah, it's okay, it's at uh, 300. I think you gave me 300 bucks at the end of the last episode or something like that. Mm hmm So, I'm good, that's fine. <laughs> we don't want to do it too easy, right? Oh, yeah. By the way, I'm only getting 165 settlers a year. Can I get more? <laughs> you can if you uh, embrace uh, the Jad. Isn't it just insane? Because usually, like, what, regular E4, it's Portugal that gets, like, maybe 100. Yeah. And this is, like, 150 is too slow. And we already, we're only like, uh, what, 30 years into the game or something like that? 40 years? Yeah. Uh, 40 ish years. Almost 50, I guess. I'm okay, so Serian just announced me as their rival. That's a bit scary. Ooh. Who hates the Serian? Could try and ally the Sicky Deer, your ally as well, but. Well, I'm probably gonna do that after our, uh, our uh, little war. Little friendly exchange we're gonna do. Yeah. Oh, this is insane. Oh, I just got a free stability increase. Now I'm at three. Nice, nice. I can already take tech eight for military, and uh, I have level three advisors for all of them, and I'm still making money. <laughs> and my inflation is at 13. Yikes. I'm not jealous at your uh, inflation. <laughs> to be honest, I'm jealous at your money situation. But, uh, I'm a little scared though, because I don't know how these poison rock goblins are here to the east. If you can even see that. 
Uh, they're over in the other hold, like to the east of you, between that gap. Yeah, above uh, Orvi, your province okay. next to the Heroes Vale. Yeah. Actually, I was thinking, should I just completely go crazy? And if you're gonna give me Jad, should I just go religious? Well, because <laughs> like, the am I... uh, uh, theocracy would uh, would like that. It's an interesting thing about because like, I'm not really a min max or anything like that. Because like yeah. in my most recent playthrough with the Denica, I realized there's a espionage aristocratic. Oh wow, nice. Uh, policy to give more combat ability for cavalry, and I was like, you know what? I might just take espionage just to do this. Yeah. Espionage is, I don't know, it's an idea group which is okay, but there's so 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 much better uh, to pick from, in my opinion. Oh yeah. I mean, economic would be really good, but religious, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it uh, fits the whole shtick here. You know what? I'll do it. Yeah. Let's go for it. Religious dwarves. Are there any religious dwarves in like any kind of fantasy? Is that a thing? Not that I know of. They usually just like uh, they don't care. Uh, venerate your uh, uh, ancestors. Ah. But uh, that's it, really. As far as I know. I'm thinking, what would be better for a dwarf? Offensive or defensive? I would say law wise defensive, but gameplay wise probably uh, offensive. I mean, yeah, offensive has siege ability. But it's always plus two, really uh, good. Two, uh, are you getting any bonus to defensiveness? I don't really know. Yeah, let me you check have 65 in your capital. Surface hold gives it. Ancestor worship, meh. Dwarven admin gives it. Hmm. Being defensive, like, uh, enforces the whole, um, like, fantasy of dwarves just uh, hunkering down in their keeps or holes. I mean, I could go naval. <laughs> yeah, you should uh, do that for sure. Here, I'll buy provinces from you all the way to your coastline, because I know you can't build ships. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. Let's do that. Our truce is up. Already? Damn. No, it's been five years. Jesus, that was fast. Hopefully, hopefully the Jad thing spreads to all my provinces, because if not, then I'm really going to need these religious ideas. And does it say anything about that? Just a second here. Uh, no, it just says your... Just a moment. Not really. I mean, if it converts my hold, I'm fine with that. It doesn't say you will be converted. At least not really. But I could ask you to convert before, I, uh, before we break it or whatever. Uh, then your capital, your hold, will be converted to, to the light. The light. Uh, the light. I think the Heroes Veil vale deserves a seat in our assembly. There you go. Explore Cavern of Interest. Nice, another one. Actually, a couple more. Actually, another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Can you pause real quick? <laughs> yeah? One of them was an orc ambush. Oh. In my granny, the cranny over here. I'm going to have to move troops over. Alright. <laughs> you can also pause. You, you know that, right? Oh! Oh, right, I can't unpause right now, though. No, no, but uh, are you ready to unpause, or should I unpause, rather? Yeah, it's good. Alright. It just caught me off guard when we were going on... Not also really doing speed, speed. without any pausing, really. <laughs> so it's a bit uh, hectic here. Yeah. Should be good, though. Oof. This orcs hurt. Dogs. Finish that colony. Actually, I'm almost filled up here. Nice. 
nice, nice. I guess my next target would be the east, or maybe getting rid of the greedy grin. Ooh. I can't see the greedy grin. Is that the dudes between you and the Sigadir? No, it's to the east, above right. the Orvi stuff. All right. A new lord has been elected. He's a 360. <laughs> it's not that it even matters. Oh, I'm lagging oh. behind. Well, I guess it's because yeah. you're hosts and you're like across the world. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it didn't do it in the earlier episode, so that's a bit odd. Yeah. Hmm. Freaky. Don't really have potato net, so I'm kind of surprised. Yeah. Mine is also decent. Here, let's see. Let's build a cannon and. You know, Try yeah. speed 3 again, see what happens. Yeah, speed 3 is fine. You gonna um, declare on me yet? Yeah, I just had a bunch of rebels popping here. Um, Ooh. So Beautiful cavern. I could do conquest war against you and then. Well, do, I do you get a you subjugation? No, I just get a conquest on you because I have a claim, permanent claim on Hero's Whale. Veil. Oh, the mission doesn't give you subjugation? Nope. That's bad. I'm over 100% war score. Oh, right. You're uh -oh. 166? Oh, shh. Uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we didn't think think that through. <laughs> uh, hmm. How to fix that? Do you want to do it the other way again? <laughs> Here. Uh, the other way? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't worry, everybody. We'll get it figured out someday. Uh, yeah. Hmm. My opinion okay. of you... Me to send is... a new diplomat then. Yeah, I I'll just give you money. You'll send money back to me. You will improve. Wow, I just got religious zeal. That's hilarious. Uh, I am a great power, so I could influence you, but that costs like five hundred bucks. That will give you. That will give me another twenty-five. Um. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, but let's wait until it's almost maxed with the influence thing. And then try and somehow, uh, yeah, boost it the last bits. Hmm, let's see. Eliza, who are you added to? Wow, I'm making a ton of points right now. It's hurting my income a tiny bit. There we go, that's fine. Huzzah! I'm getting a lot of good goods over here. Yeah. I don't know about some, fungi that much. Some uh, good goods. <laughs> good good. Good good. This goblin is taking his very sweet time over here. He's getting it 25 settlers a year, and it's just from technology. Oh my goodness. Hurry Sounds up so I can see you and, and cave your goblin skull in. I do have goblins in my capital. I'm wondering oh, if wait. I should tolerate them because their racial province modifier is really good. Local construction time down. Yeah, production efficiency and goods produced too. And I guess that stacks with dwarves. Because dwarves are really good as well. Yeah, that's 20%. Yeah. It just sounds like heresy. Having <laughs> goblins with dwarves, you know? I mean, first of all, they're they're oppressed in my capital. Hopefully that counts for something for now. Yeah, a bit. Uh, I'll uh, I'll give you that. Yeah. So do you also get claims to the east with the Jad Empire here into like India thing? Oh yeah. Okay. So basically to form the Jad Empire, I think you need. Well, I guess you could look. I think it's a hundred and fifty provinces. From Bulwar to India. Well, not India, as they say. Yeah. I need 20 provinces, I think. Yeah. And then need to own Seriand, the province Seriand. Oof. Okay, so, yeah, they are my next target, those buggers. Ooh, El Eliana's a march? I forgot. Yeah, they became a march march after um, one of the events or one of the missions you but should would, take on Sirion be... though they do have a good gold province there yeah but their alliance is a bit scary they have those 
Bird Satsa, whatever. The Ears and are the... tenses and uh, Varimha. Those together have 20k, and Sarion has 19k. He does only have 5k manpower, because, you know, elves. Yeah. You yourself have 20k. I 30k here, manpower. Yeah. Honestly, tech, you are tech ahead. I could join you. I'm almost done colonizing. I need to wait for these um, goblins to finish up. Yeah. Elayana will also join in with 7k. It's not much, but it's something. I mean, I you could, if you ask me to be a vassal, I can't say no, so. <laughs> if you go to war, so. Yeah, but uh, it's not there yet. How much money do you have? Uh, 887. Okay. Here, I'll just give you 500. No, it's uh, just for um, the influence thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, so just gift. influence, gift. And gift. That should do it, I think. Yeah, I think that's 50 because total. that's 50. Um, I could also ask for trade power. That would also give me something. Never. It's my trade power. <laughs> All right. Actually, you don't. None of the nodes actually go to you, up here. Well, Segadir does. Well, I've gotten two of those uh, level three advisor events where it's like he's amazing and he gives you stuff. And uh, oh, right, right, yeah. Yeah, I just got, got the plus, plus three. Yeah, I just got like yeah. the um, discipline ten percent guy. Oof. That's so good. I have 115% uh, discipline at the moment. 115. That's uh, pretty damn good. I have it as well, but that's just because I'm an elf. Oh yeah. Filthy. Filthy elves. So are you able to influence me? Uh, I just needed to let it uh, go. Oh, it's maxed. That's just a second. So a gift to you costs like a shit ton because you're so rich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I gave you all my okay, if I gave you, I can't do both at the same time. I have, to, I would have to wait unless you have more coin. Uh, lying of about. course, I do. Um, I have so just influence, have... and then I'll give you like four hundred more ducats, and then you just give it back. Okay, let's see here. Influence here. All right. Hooray! Then I need to Let the game run a bit. So I can give you a gift. Did you have some coin for uh, for a gift then? Yeah. Here you go. I'm about to attack the greedy grin because they just they they're down to eight k randomly. Damn. I don't know what happened. Okay. Let's see. I'm just gonna give you everything here. So that should do it, right? Twenty one. Yeah, that should do it. Awesome. Perfect. Let's see there, and then we have to let the game run again for one uh, one more tick. No! <laughs> Never mind, we can't do it. Why? It just it just popped up and said you can't vassalize countries with more than a hundred uh, development. <laughs> it didn't say that before. God damn it. <laughs> Can I what sell you hell? province? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right, hold on. How much dev do I actually have? 116. Wait, I have 116 dev? Yeah. Hmm. How the hell are we going to do this? I have eight here. Does it count colonies that are going right now? Oh, I don't know. Here, I'll you have check eight in the heroes bail. Let me see if that counts. It does count. Sorry. I'll cancel these colonies. How much is in the Heroes Vale? Eight. Oh my god. <laughs> I have 109 development. <laughs> no! Oh, Jesus. Can I'm you sell a province to... To, the, to the orcs or something? The goblins? Here, I'm going to sell a province to... I guess, um, Dreamer's Hollow over here. I can't, because he's at war. Damn it. Hold oh, on. God. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it live. Here, take this yep. province. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness, those goblins that are taking millennia to colonize just got natives, and then the colony got destroyed. Oh, Jesus. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> oh boy. I can't sell you my capital either, so I'm literally just stuck here. <sighs> Until this guy's done his war. Oh. The gift and the influence thing... Well, the influence thing lasts for a year. Uh, then I have to give you another 477 gold, which I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, goodness. I can't guarantee you either, because you're too powerful. Who would have thought? Yeah. Uh, Hmm, who, who else can I sell to? Yeah, I can't sell any of these. Damn. Oh, oh no, uh, I know what you can do. Oh, I can uh, burn down development. Yeah. It's funny, people are going to be watching this and going to be screaming that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what are sure. you doing? Alright, here you go. My one... Dwarven road that had one extra base manpower is now gone. <laughs> okay, let's see here. It still says you have a hundred and... Okay, we might need to have it like a tick happen, like a month go by. Yeah. Let's see. I'll burn everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, that should do it. Offer a vassalization it? from Jadari. No. Huzzah! Right, so Independence! Let, let's see here. So I can click this here. Allegiance of the Golden Citadel, which will give me some some bonus here. And you become an autonomous vassal. Yay! Um, that means I can declare war, I think. Uh, you need... Uh, let's see... All of the following hmm. must be true. Inquisitor, advisor, has skill of at least one. Diplomatic. Is it just like a the, ton of conditions? There's some. Let's see, you're still your old religion, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could go in here and then f enforce religion. Do you want that? Then your I think your hold, your capital converts if I uh, if I do that. Hopefully. Let's try. Let's do you need to do that for the mission? Yeah, your hold needs to be a uh, jad. So you up for it? Yes. All right. <laughs> Liberty Desire, 100%. Instantly declares. Alright. Uh, Actually... No. <laughs> you didn't become... Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I have 0% no, no, religious it, it worked. It worked. I think it worked. Here. What was it like the next part? Yeah, let's see here. Light for the Dwarves. The Liberty Desire for you goes down by 50% for 20, 50, 25 years. And some Dwarves somewhere. Oh, I can do it. Serpent Time, Serpent, Serpent Spine Expedition. So I lose 100 middle power, you gain the colonist, and settle increase for 50 years. Ooh, colonist. And you should gain some kind of event or something, I think. Oh, that's messed up. What's messed up? I, I take the prestige hit because you converted me. I'm at negative 69 prestige. Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh... It doesn't really mean anything, though. I'm losing money! What? Really? Yeah, because all my provinces aren't on um, the right religion. Oh. I can, uh... I can probably help you convert, actually, with my, uh, missionary. Amazing missionaries. I have a decent amount of uh, missionary strength. I'm converting in some provinces. Okay, I can help you here, as well. The entire time we're... Your... Entire time we're goofing off, I missed my chance to attack the greedy grin. <laughs> Do you? Uh, I can start converting your capital. It will take thirty-three months. It's not that long. Oh, it's better than zero for me. I can't do anything. Okay, I'll do it. That's actually amazing missionary strength. Jad okay, principles. Can do an expedition into serpent spine. Sure. Some kind of event. Uh, uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of bonuses for it. What'd you get? Well, I got I got a bunch of bonuses for uh, for uh, converting. Oh, uh, okay. I also got some kind of event for expedition into the serpent spine, like 
think it's to help you. I'm not really sure. Oh yeah. I just lost a bunch of manpower and such money. I am. Um, I have 220 settlers a year. Jesus Christ, that will go fast. I can rival the greedy grin, and I have no army. All right. Hey, so... we did it though. <laughs> I was worried yeah, yeah. that we weren't going to be able to do it, <laughs> and it, it was close. <laughs> oh. Do you want the heroes veil back here? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> yes. Actually, nah, just keep uh, it. I like just having my little entrance into the mountain. Oh, I can't even sell it, sell it to you right now because you're my, uh, my uh, uh, subject. Oh, yeah. So I think... I'm not sure if you need to be my subject anymore. Oh, wow. I can establish an order of Lightbringers. Yeah, you can put orders into your... The Order uh, of areas. Lightbringers. Awesome. I'll take it. 2% missionary strength. Who are our heretics? New Sun Cult and Old Sun Cult. Okay. You know what's even funnier? What? I can now form the Jed Empire. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you serve me? Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> oh my god, why is the AI being so mean to me? Look what they did. The company of the Grudge Bearers. They literally just cut me off. Um, Over to the west. Company of the Grudge Bearers. I can't see it. Oh. Actually, it's still, I... a lot of the stuff is still uh, uh, incognito for me. Oh. I mean, I can still declare war and stuff. Yeah, you are autonomous. I'm not really sure what that means, to be honest. Autonomous a vessel. Do I pay you I money still? Uh, no. I think it's because... I think it's like lowered... Lower um, liberty desire and I'm allowed to declare wars and I don't pay anything. Yeah, like, I, I, it's ba it basically just putting you into my sphere, I, I suppose, like in uh, Victoria. Yeah. Something like that. No, I'm not Perfect. getting anything from you. At least not that, not that I can see. Yes. My first war! Nice. About time. I'm gonna start expelling goblins beforehand. Let's get it going. I sent you 3,000, 4,000 manpower. Not sure, but uh, if you need it. Oh my. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see. Uh, it's like uh, the thing I can do with the subjects. Uh, I wonder if we could really cheese it and you could just march me and turn on like the crazy interactions. Ah, the, that's a um, bit. That's a yeah. bit cheesy. I don't even think that um, it will allow us to do that. I can uh, get propagate state religion. Do it. Nice. Forty uh, percent. On converting your capital. Awesome. I had to turn off my level 3 advisors because of this. Thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. No, it's but fine. Hey, That's ridiculous this early in the game. At least you got the got the Jad now. Oh, yeah. So that's something. What does the Jad give me? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> it's not that great, but it uh, gives you some morale and some Max promote culture. Oh, wow. And uh, manpower and by 25%, which is quite good. Does that stack with your um, government reform? Uh, the what part of it? Your um, your government... Yeah, Desert Legion gives you 20% more. That's good. Yeah. Greedy Grin is done. Most of it is. Give me war reparations from your... 6th development province. Awesome. Are you proud of me, Jad? My first war. I'm very proud. Spread the light. My my uh, faithful dwarf. <laughs> I guess. Yep. It's weird thinking about this. I mean, that's why I titled my first episode "Unlikely Alliance." Yeah, it is for sure. Uh, hmm. let's see. I think it's time for you to um, figure out what you're going to do next. 
Oh, my phone is beeping. Need to cut here in a moment. Um, yeah, I was oh. thinking of doing a small war in the east near end because yeah, not really sure about this Sarayant yet. Yeah, he's scary. He is, is there anybody else you can ally to counter that? Mm, let's see his rivals. Irelam, but Irelam is like collapsing. It seems Sigidir and Yadari. But oh right, I could ally Sig. No, they're my rival as well. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, you have me. That's true. I now have 25% more morale. That's pretty good. Because of my military drill. Let's see, I'll do a small war down here. The south yeah. Alrighty. Alright, should we uh, cut here then? Yep, time to cut. There we go. Nice. Wow, I actually so, have more land. <laughs> progress. Woo. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, uh, everyone. Uh, and thank you, Tim, for hey. the episode. Thanks for having me here. No problem. We'll, uh, we'll hope we see you all in the next episode. Yeah, see ya. Catch you guys next time. See ya.